What it do is that damn month of the street's favorite comedian. Hi, I'm Super B. And it's your boy Biggie, aka Mr. Excellent. And right now you're tuned in to going in. What you finna say? I think I'm, you finna say I something. I just wanna ask you what's up with the hat today. I just, cause I'm cool right now. You, I'm cool you, like you know, that. You look like you feeling real groovy right now. Nah, I ain't groovy. You not? No, you tired? You going to groove tonight? Yeah, well. You, you, you groovy. Well, whatever, whatever that means, sir. Y'all look yeah. real nice though. Oh, do I? Thank y'all. Y'all look real nice. I, I appreciate you do too. And you, you walked in like you was bow legged and stuff. My yeah. yeah. hair like you, you was like I'm bow legged. Like, 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 he was fine, you know. Oh, God, yeah. Wants to still dress like he's 15, so. Who? You school? I want to dress like I'm old for a nigga. No, I want my pants all around my motherfucking uh, belly button and all that little bullshit. Well, I'm just saying, pull your pants up. That, that's what I meant to tell you before, you before we started. Pull your pants up. Okay. No, I'm acting like somebody uncle. Well, I'm just saying. Just pull your pants up. Hat on, man. I, mean, I know. I, 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 feel, I feel very... Uh, how you doing, Ray Super right B? You all right? I'm fine. Yes, I'm just good, ready to go to this moment. Happy birthday to my boy, DJ Young Sam. With his Happy birthday, Sam. The vegan king. <laughs> That nigga ain't no goddamn I know, he was really not. I know I seen Sam at Burger Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he was on MLK. Yeah, that nigga at Burger Park. He he like when when you stroke his ego. That's all it is. Yeah, that's all I'm trying to make it for. He really doing that nigga ain't no goddamn (laughs) vegan. Oh, man. I'm vegan. Oh, shit. But yeah, man, uh, Black Panther? The hype behind it? I really thought that it was like the old Black Panther. I didn't know it was it's a superhero movie. Yeah, that's where a lot of people are uh, getting misconstrued. Like, you know, uh, Marvel Comics uh, created that behind uh, like a black historical superhero. But a lot of people thinking it's on some uh, Hugh and Newton. Racist and shit like that's that. What, that's what yeah, I thought. I, I did too, kind of at first. And I My dumb ass like, made a post and I was like, you must have not seen the preview. I did. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it, yeah, I I'm seen that. Right. You said, yeah, I seen that. She was I, just like, I hope I, this. I'm make saying me you could have called me, motherfucker. I, I didn't like want super to. Delete you, you know, I, I, I wanted you to look, look stupid. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I thought it was till I was like, oh shit, that's the cartoon nigga just got the goddamn thing in the car and all of those shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I guess they did it because yeah. you know we ain't got no. I guess black superhero. Like, I mean. I, uh, fuck, I don't we know. We do have that. black superhero. Who? The first uh, superhero. Who? Uh, what was that? Dwayne Bro. Black man. Black man. That's the first su- black yeah. superhero? Black man. Black man? What the fuck? Black man, Diamond Wayne. Black, black man or no, oh, Media Man? Media Man. man. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah Media man. man. Robert but That was Robert Townsend. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you know, niggas too. That niggas, was niggas, that was so old. Niggas don't remember that motherfucker. Man, shit. but shit. But I mean, okay, well, it's been so long, I guess they decided to come with a new one. It's time for a fresh one, so I guess that's why. Yeah, um, on the Marvel comic side, but see, a lot of we've been getting a lot of backlash because right. a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people have been uh, dressing up. And um, oh, yeah. they saying that they're going too far. They putting too much uh, into it versus a lot of people. We didn't put a lot into voting and shit like that. And it's just like man, you know, as a whole, as a uh, black race, man, it's like damn, we can't we can't yeah, embrace nothing yeah, without yeah, being really cute behind the shit. But I'm about. gonna embrace both of my purses and come out of retirement if Trump stop these food stamps. Oh yeah, see, y'all really believe that shit? That's yeah, he gonna eat um, potted meat. I don't think he gonna. Yeah, I don't, think he, gonna, shit, yeah, I don't, I don't think he can do that. Do you realize how many motherfucking boxes and packages they gonna have to send? And you think he gonna give a fuck about that? As long as he can, well, he can I'm come in and fuck, fuck up some shit like that. But see, like it's somebody in the voting ring that's saying the same thing we're saying. Yeah. Like, nigga, you that tripping? Like, sense. nah, I'm not voting on that shit here, man. No, and hey, imagine, I'm saying, imagine a bitch. From Fifth Ward Homestead, Fourth Ward, Third Ward, all them hoes out there probably got like six kids apiece. One box can't even feed two kids, let alone six. Well, who, hell no. Who say that one box? You know what I mean? You might get. I have three kids. All three of my kids can go. That box ain't gonna do no well, shit. You, you probably, you probably get like, you know what I mean, a box per kid or something. They don't, but it don't come with <coughs> meat, Muncie. Well, that's why. Don't come you, with meat. What's no. that mean, the motherfucker? Ramen noodles and, or something? Yeah, beans and yeah. rice. Oh, no. Trump needs to see this whole ass. Everybody, everybody, everybody ass going to be healthy. Put it like that. <laughs> everybody ass going to be healthy. Y'all so, so be you going to have to uh, bring your purses out of retirement. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming out of retirement. And I'm I'm hitting leaks and shit. So you going to be stealing meat and shit? Yeah, y'all get oh. y'all groceries together. Fuck with me. You going to be stealing groceries. Yeah. I think that's up, man. Go ahead on, man. That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead on, man. Going food time first. first. So if that you get caught, what's going to happen? Like, Y'all don't come bum me out. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. What kind of, what kind of, like, how would, what, what, what would they charge you with? A dub. 
Oh, yeah, still? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. okay. But you already on paper, though. You don't need to be doing it. But it's fucked up, like, you... That'd be okay. fucked up though. Like you, you get uh, you get called safest if you did get caught, and you walking outside or whatever. They got the cameras on you. It's like you know you've been like hitting banks, but you just hit like uh, grocery stores. They got shit. all the news. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm a small shit. I ain't got. Well, I'm embracing my shit. I'm gonna laugh like a motherfucker. Like, I, I can't. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna laugh my ass you off. just in all the Krogers and everything. Like you just got a piss on the wall. Everywhere she go, they like. Monkey sent me here. That's what I'm gonna tell him. That damn monkey sent me here. Yeah, I, I, I mean, street spirit comedian. Yeah, because before <laughs> your show, you like your fruit, you like your feed your waters. Yeah. Before I, you get the beating bitches, you like to be healthy oh, with your on. peanuts what, and hold shit. Hold on, we went. Where the hell they come from? I mean, not beat a bitch, but get shooting in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, you did kill somebody man, last week. No, I did not, man. Here we go again. I ain't killed no well, goddamn body, man. Well, hey, it is. Speaking yeah. of killing, what's up with this uh, this school shoot, man? Oh, Y'all think yeah. he been treated fair? I didn't even read about it. Now, I'm saying, you know, uh, Florida has a, a law that states that, you know, if, if a person is mentally ill... Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They so, get, so yeah, some wrong with that's some bullshit. Yeah, no, yeah. That's what they say. That's, that's why, they always that, say about the white that, kids. That's, that's why. They, that's why they <laughs> handle them in a certain way. You know what I'm saying? That's why they handle them in like a certain way to where it's just like oh, they're not treating them shit. like a like an animal. Like he's real life. This nigga killed all them people. How the fuck you can't treat him like a guy? Yeah. There ain't nothing wrong with that nigga. He done already posted on the shit. He want to be a professional school shooter. That should he let you know that. right there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, on his Twitter page. Yeah, and nigga was in the backyard in his drawers with target practice with a. Make America Great Again hat, shooting shit. Yeah. Man, here's that. that nigga ain't crazy. He knew how to tweet. He yeah, knew how to tweet. Yeah, he ain't motherfucking me. That nigga knew how to spare. That nigga ain't retarded. How many people he killed? 17. 17. That's a lot of people, man. Yeah, 17. And then, you know. He's a young nigga, too. That made it seem like, you know, oh, he's mentally ill. So, nigga had police escort. Uh, when he's on his way to the hospital, all that shit, that'll be evaluated and everything. But they made it seem like, like, you know, Okay, we're not gonna handle him as an animal because he's mentally ill, and that's some kind of law that they have in, uh, Fuck in that. Florida. Nah, they just doing that because he's white. white. Let that yeah. be the nigga. They had to kick his ass and all kind of motherfucking shit. Stars the nigga in the jail. The he, but I thought the sniper was gonna come home. You remember the young boy that was fucking with the sniper? Mm. The two oh, black yeah, niggas, two that black was, niggas. Yeah, yeah, bitch yeah, yeah, that yeah. was in a yeah, in he, a caprice. Yeah, in a caprice. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think he's gonna come home. Yeah, he. You know, they put him in a state like he was being young, so he was. Taking over his mind and yeah. being young, just doing what he's doing. Free you, we waiting on you to come home. Nah, we nah, 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 I ain't, I ain't, I ain't waiting on that. Hell, that nigga like me. He like been a little more crazy than what the yeah. fuck he was when he did first. Like, you waiting on him to come home. Yeah. Hey, shit. Two bitch hey. trying to, try to get a snipe or some pussy, man. Is that, that what you do? Man, look, man. Cut it out, bitch. I just feel like we just been getting fucked all these years. Yeah. Well, look what the fuck they did. Them niggas shoot down a the trunk. They ain't get fucked. Hey, we uh be right back, man. After we find uh the spin number for I'm for ready. Super Bid and Sniper, man. The niggas from here. <laughs> oh damn! Hey, hey, we got the OG K Reno man coming up, man. Mister Drop Seven the albums in one day. So we'll be right back. In Going day, in, man. My boy K Reno, man. Let's go. Bye. H-Town legendary K. Reno in the building. What up, family? We in here, man. Good to be here. Good to see y'all. Man, yeah, I'm glad you came through, man. You know, uh, man, you know, you got a little history with this rap in the city, man. Yes, sir. Man, it's like, uh, I know you got some, some some hell of a followers, man. You got some very unique followers that just, yes, like, sir. real, real <laughs> consistent with you, man. You know what I'm saying? How, how they feel, man? I uh, mean, it's, it's great, man. It's, it's it's about diversity, man. Right. And, um, I don't know how it happened, but... I have a fan base that consists of just multi ethnicities, races, everybody, man, right. different countries. It's no one set group, even though I'm considered to be a, um, a, a pro black conscious rapper. Right, right, right. I still have a lot of people from different races who, who, who listen to my music and relate to it. Right, so, right. That's a blessing. Yeah, it is, it is. But you know, you got different people and all flavors, man, that, that just like real music, man. I know you always gonna present that real, man. Without real, a doubt. You always have been. Then you're very lyrical with it, too, man. Yes, you know sir. what I mean? But uh, 
what uh like you about the only artists I know out of H Town that really done been a lot of places like way on the other side of the globe doing shows, man. What it like when you go over there? Man, it's, it, in certain places, depending on where I go, man, it, it's it's chaos because the few times, the first time I went over there, I went to Helsinki, Finland. And I didn't know. Man, way to feel it. Yeah, I didn't know I had a fan base like that. The right. guy was trying to tell me, he was like, nah, man, you big over here. And when I got over there, I, I saw it. Like, I was like, man, you know, I felt, I got a chance to see how Michael Jackson felt for <laughs> half, a, half a second, you know. But um, it, it's amazing because they, they show such an appreciation for you when you get over there because. I'm an underground artist. They they don't they don't see me all the time. All the time, you right? Know, even a lot of mainstream guys might come over in big arenas, but they booking me to come to small venues, three, four, five hundred people, right? And selling it out. And I always been the kind of dude. I'm up close and personal. You can dab me up, take right, pictures right, with me. Right, right, so right. No, yeah, ain't no Hollywood in me. So that makes it better for them because if it is the only time I'm gonna come. They gonna get a good. Yeah, they experience. got that opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They gotta no say doubt. some good things, you know. What without I mean? a doubt, yeah, yeah, without yeah. Doubt. I ain't just in the door and out the door. Out the door, yeah, yeah, like most of them be doing. Yeah. What other places you been around the globe doing shows? Man, I went to the UK, did uh, with Scotland. Uh, Man, you been way over there. Yeah, Australia. That's the farthest one, you know. And 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 the, the responses is all the same. It's like they show love because they these are fans of, of underground music, and it it don't mean that they don't like the mainstream stuff right. too is just the fact that these people specifically reached out to get me right right so when i got there it wasn't something i was just thrown on, thrown on yeah. it was like this, this is this my is what thing. they want yeah right, exactly right. this is what, what they, they wanted, wanted. Yeah, right right exactly. man i know that's a beautiful thing man right. which one do right. you think out of all the places you've been probably the best one that you, that you really just it, it's out of finland and australia finland and australia yeah because our finland was finland was sick the first time man you know just so cold but australia was equally as hyped up when i got there right man. and so like i said i got a chance to experience that and um but um the time i went to uh i've been to finland twice but the first time i went it was so cold right. that it was hard. To, <laughs> it was hard to yeah, just. In Australia, the weather was like beautiful. Right, so right. They might get a little edge just on the weather, but right. um, and I made more money in Australia. Just, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know that's a beautiful feeling, man. I know that's a beautiful feeling, man. So what you been working on lately? Man, I'm actually in the process of starting on a new project now, right, right now, right. and um, I'm, I plan on having it out. At the, um, the end of March, right, right. 2018, and but but I'm still pushing the seven. You know, I dropped seven so, albums right. in one day. Uh, yeah, that's right. You last, sure did. Yeah, and last year, and um, and and I'm still pushing that because a lot of people <coughs> still don't know that I did that, and that's something that never been done right, by any right, artist right, in, in right. history. So I'm I'm promoting that. I dropped an album called Raps and Beats with a producer friend of mine named DLP uh, right after the seven. Right. And then I just dropped a, a EP with my homie Drastico with like seven songs. So, so I'm, you really I'm just down in 10, 10, uh, staying on 10 it, CDs back to back, baby. Yeah, 10, 10 CDs within the last probably year. We're looking at 10 albums. Yeah. Damn. How, you, how easy, I mean, how, how did that have just seven? What made you want to do that, just drop seven? Man, in one day, you say? Yeah, it, what it was, I was going to try to drop 100 songs at one time right. and release them digital on iTunes. Right. But then when I start thinking, I say, well, okay, well, how many albums would that come out to be if I did it as albums and put maybe 14 on each one? Right. And then it came out to be seven. So I said, okay, I'll do seven albums. Then I say, nah, I'm not gonna write that many songs. I'll put 12 on each one, right. and it end up being 84 songs. And I just said, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna drop seven. And, and I knew nobody had ever done that. The closest nobody. person was this guy overseas. He dropped four right. in one day. So people put out double albums all the time, right, right, not right. Seven. seven. And the seven is new stuff with no recite, with nothing I already had. Brand Everything new, new, yeah, straight up. Man, like you just, so you just went in on the pen. Went just, in on the pen, and, and look, you said it because it took nine months, it took seven months to write everything. Right. Another two months to record. Yeah. So it was like a pregnancy, you know, as right, I right, say right, it all right. the time. So yeah, so, the, but the writing process for the seven albums 
it took seven months. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Man, that's that's hey, that's a hell of a movement right there, man. Mm -hmm. Real shit. Ain't ain't too many people thinking like that to try to just do something unique and you know what I'm saying, just different than everybody. You know what I mean? Well, you know, and 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 you know, it's just like me. You know, as, as underground artists, we try. We it's harder for us to establish and make a mark. Right. You know, the mainstream they got the machine behind them. They can do this, do this, and do that. And, and even if what they do is is not that impressive. It gets hyped up so right, much right, right, to where it's right. oh wow, he you made think it's, it's yeah. really something, but it's really not. So for us, we got to make our mark on our own. So my thing was, okay, you know what? It don't matter if the whole world knows about it or finds out about it. I know, my fan base know, and other people that, that rock with me, they know that I did something that right. nobody ever done. Right, I don't right, care, right. not just rap. Right. R&B, rock, whoever, nobody have ever done that. Right, so right, right. that's my... My part of my legacy, man. right, 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 man. One thing I like about you, and I always known about you, man. You always been a real humble, cool, laid back dude, man. You always stayed in your lane, no matter what man. was out, no matter what was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What kind of advice you got for the, you know, the, the up and coming? I know it's kind of hard to really give them some advice, cause you know what I'm saying. But uh, what would you tell them right now? Well, I mean, the thing is, you said it. I mean, have try to have as much humility as you can, right? Because your gift don't come from you. Right. Your gift comes from the creator. Right. So if we get to the point where we get so full of ourselves because of what the world is, is, is the props the world is giving right, us, right. then we missing it. Missing it. So God will have a way of taking that from you. Yeah. So anytime I get props and anytime somebody says, well, man, you this, you that, my first thought is to say, well, praise be to Allah. Right. Thank God because right. I didn't give nothing I got to myself. Right, so right. I would tell them that it's on that level, but on a business level, man, I would just tell the, uh, the young artists to learn the business first. Right. You know, you the talent takes care of itself. You God gave you that. You was born with that. Right. But learn the business so somebody else can't come along and exploit your talent right, right, and eat right. off of it and feed their family. For ten generations, you're not getting nothing, and all you got to show for it is fame. Right, right. But right. you don't have no money. Right, yeah, right, 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 right. Okay. Well, yeah, man. It was a pleasure, man. You coming through, man. You know what I'm saying? It's always a pleasure dealing with you, man. Uh, get to go in a minute, man. Be back with a freestyle from my boy K Reno, man. Peace and hair grease, man. It's your big brother, K. Reno, man. Getting it in, going in, glad to be here. Let me show y'all how we do it. Word aesthetics. The veteran with a nice word fetish. It's imperative that I shred him up like iceberg lettuce. I stripped the earth naked, plus I perfected my work ethic the first second. The nurse gave my mother my birth record. The precocious quote theologian. I read notes that repost them. The results leave throats in convulsions. And I'm overpowering. Don't have to shout him in to be louder than them. Plus every now and then I'm inverting my outer skin. Disavowing these sour dottles who out to deflower our power. Slip in his house, kill him in the shower. Swinging the meat cleaver. The people become believers because I'm still breathing with a 300 degree fever. Speak with a street sweeper, heat seeker, the complete leader of the beat bleeders. Think a million leagues deeper. Every night that we write, we write words precisely. And not even Vanna White can flip words like me. And that's what it is, man. South Park Coalition, your big brother K Reno. Follow me on Twitter at the real K Reno. One love, Biggie, Big Sam, yeah. Yes, we are. My team. Man, you been doing big things and this year just started. Big thing. You been smelling itself. That's an old person. <laughs> you just told your age. Hey, look. You just told your age, man. But you know what? I got a solution though. Cause when I first met you, man, you know, you you I I, I was kind of, you know, like, man, I don't, I don't know about this dude here, man. I had to tell Sam, man, I don't know about this dude here, man. But you you know, you really showed me that, you know, you was really serious about it. Your career as a you know comedian and shit, man. I kind of yeah. I, I salute well, you, man. Appreciate I, that. I, I, I first, and you, you know what I mean. I don't. First of all, I don't like you. Let's let's get that. Like to, hold on, wait, wait a minute. I don't like you, but I would like to publicly thank you for you know what I mean spearheading you know the dead damn Monty movement. You know what I'm saying. Had niggas calling me from just oh boy, we seen you down here on Street Flavor. So you know what I mean. That's the the best thing you probably ever did. 
You know what I mean? I'm, <laughs> thank you. I don't like you. Don't laugh at that. I'm just saying, I don't like you. Okay, well, let me say this. But I'm just saying. But I don't I, like I you either, but I'm giving you your props because, yeah. you know, I recognize yeah. you know, you're doing good. I, but I, I, don't, I, I don't like I, your I, dust. I, I, I appreciate you. I don't too. like that hat you got on. Man, I, I, I don't like you as a whole human being. So, Fuck you. we, so we cool. Huh? What made you just be like, man, I'm just going to take this shit serious? Man, uh, shit. It started, we was doing uh, freestyle battles and shit. I started out with Killer Kyle Freestyle battles. Yeah, just fucking around. So when Sam, we was just like, man, you know, okay, we done did the skits, like, let's try the stand up shit. Yeah. Was you nervous? Uh, nah, I wasn't nervous. He was damn fool by nature. Hell yeah. no, he wasn't uh, nervous. When I, when I went to LA, when I went to LA and did them two shows, like, um, doing a diverse crowd, I didn't do so good. You know what I mean? Because it's, like they laugh at stupid shit. Yeah. You know, so it was just well, like okay. been laughing at you. Yeah, well I wasn't that stupid. Like stupid. like if you was to walk up there and be like, uh oh, huh, you know what I mean? Without you ever without saying you, that. Without you even saying How you that. feeding into that? No, I'm just, I, no, I, I'm, just I'm saying, not like, agreeing. If, if, I'm just man, giving you know what I'm saying. If you was going through that, I'd just follow that laughing. You know what I'm saying? Fuck both of y'all. Like, both like y'all. when I see you, I just follow that laughing. I'm finna laugh right now. Fuck both of y'all. Look at that shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck both of y'all. But that's what just be laughing. Fuck laughing, Sam. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, man, like what people feel in real life, like anybody can get on Instagram, man, and put that that phone right there and just be funny. It's a whole different ball game, man. On that stage, and then, right. And you know what, I, I noticed, I was looking at my page, I was like, this nigga and Dana, all my motherfucking videos. How the fuck did that happen? Yeah. That nigga like, and Dana, all my videos. Yeah. I had to think about myself, what the fuck was I thinking about? Yeah, that's, but you, you know probably what's crazy? on the narcotics. That slim, you know. slim Thug fuck with you hard. Yeah, yeah. He from, yeah. I mean, you from over there? Yeah, I'm from Homestead. I don't know what Slim Thug from. He from, where you from? No, he's not. Nah, he's from Homestead, Exxon. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, okay. Back yeah, he fucks with you hard. Yeah, man. And, you know, my boy E. You know, like, I really, I, I thank you. But I really do thank you. Because I was thinking about it. Like, I am in a whole bunch of your videos. Like, a whole lot of them. Yeah. And for you, you know, not, I mean, for you to say you don't like this man. I don't. I don't like him. I don't. Fuck you know him. what I'm saying? Fuck That's you know, fucked up, man. Man, fuck but, him. But let me tell you about this motherfucker here, though. But Here we go with this boy. But I'm just going to say, man, he gives people chance after chance yeah. after chance and like he tends to believe in people more than they, they believe, believe in themselves. themselves and he ended up getting fucked in the end really except for dealing with me why you say it like that that's some that's like some lifetime shit i mean but you know that's, that's it is though like I'm, that's I'm, fucked I'm, up I'm, yeah but i'm a real nigga so you know i ain't mad at the end of the day i'm still you know it's gonna always come back to me so how you get fucked in the end emotional like, but he a real nigga like yeah, anyway what you what you say super eight i'm super just saying eight. like what they do, what they I mean, get not just up and then they be like, Fuck in, you. you know, they give up on themselves too goddamn fat. But like we said last time, behind a bitch. You oh, know what I'm saying? Okay. Or some shit like that instead of, you know, but hey. The problem with pussy is the motherfuckers ain't like. Man, you know. Pussy ain't that goddamn powerful shit. Yeah. It's just, it's just a mind thing. Yeah, it's a mind sure. thing. It's a mind. You got to be strong, you know. You know like I'm really strong. Know. So what you... How are you feeling now? You know what I mean? You had this platform, you know what I mean? I don't you have exe a you executing yeah, you do. You executing your platform now versus just sitting at home being hot. Well, you're gonna always get hot, yeah. but just sit at home being hot. Like a lot of people are able to hear you more. You know what I mean? So, you really be just acting the ass on Instagram. I'm just myself. You be acting but the ass I'm, on but Instagram. But I'm gonna be honest. Monty, for like a year now. I ain't gonna lie, like, he tried to fuck with me when he seen that that wasn't going away. He was like, man, bitch, I see something in you. Yeah. And I just ain't had the money to buy no pussy. <laughs> Let's get that. So, so you finessed. You was trying to use the finesse. And then I was trying to, then I, ain't, I wasn't gonna buy it, so I was trying to get a seller. I was gonna pimp on it. <laughs> but that didn't work, so I just seen you. Monty, nobody's <laughs> gonna take you seriously. So, did, so did, just, did, did he pay you for the pictures he been sending down there to the. He still haven't like, gave me my motherfucking man, money. Right? Pay, I'm, I'm on a payment arrangement with him. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. But now she is executing. It's like, no. like, after a whole year, I'm just like, hey, man, what you gonna do, man? Yeah. Like, what you gonna Only do? Only thing I don't like about it is, like, they always ask me the, the stupidest questions about the fake pages and the sucking dicks and the ass shots. I'm over that. But you gotta understand, you be on Instagram going off. I'm over that. You that I'm shit. over that, though. What if I'm making ass on Instagram? That been me for two years. I'm over that. Like I'm sucking I'm dick and one day I, you be... I been, been said that. <laughs> If y'all ain't got y'all skills up from the last past two years from what the fuck I've been saying, I can't help a bitch no more. You just throw it off. I'm it. just not on I'm it no more. I'm looking at your page. I say Super B is off the motherfucking chain. Well, nah, but I don't even remember what page I was looking going. at, but you so. just, 
You just off the motherfucker. You be talking about the kids and just. My kids, babe. <laughs> well, goddamn. Well, but they, they got, give me peace. They gotta like, be somebody. I, I love my they kids because be they are bad, but I don't like being around females. <coughs> you don't like being around females? Why not? Because mm -mm. the type of females, if you be cool with a bitch and a nigga, in the back of their mind, they gonna kick in high with you, but they gonna think you trying to fuck on that nigga. Oh yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't that's, be around you like that's that. That's how females think, you know. I can't do that. No. Judgmental female. Yeah. Very judgmental. Yeah. You one of them type? You don't do that? Hell no. She really like a, it's a nigga trap inside that. <laughs> <laughs> on the cold, I heard that so many times. For yeah, real. It's, it's really a nigga trap inside yeah. that. Like, so, so, so you still uh, sitting the weed doing hand and babysitting all at the same house? Hold on, man. You just gonna sit up here and just incriminate yourself? This man just asked you that. We was talking about a movie. No, I'm just no. He just asked you that. You know, you gonna you still selling dope this, and you gonna say yeah. I said yeah. selling weed. He wearing a wire. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you the one got the thing in your ear. No, I'm just yeah, I got the microphone no, in his ear. What's up? He just said he asked you a question. Yeah, he asked you, you a, a, a right. very incriminating question, and you say yeah. yeah. And soon when you said yeah, he was like he wasn't fit. He wasn't. And soon you asked him, Adam, 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 we got it right here. He wasn't even finished with his question. So I, I, I wanted, I wanted to stop and nip it in the bud. Go ahead, E. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I forgot what I was gonna say. This nigga hit him, fucked me up with the bullshit. Because they, they finna feed him the question again. What's this thing in this ear? I want to know. He think talking about a microphone. He think you think that's a Bluetooth, but that really wasn't a mic. It's a, it's a, it's a microphone in in one of them chains, whether you know it or not. Whether and you, you gonna look too. It's, it's, you it's got my man's on. on. Yeah, man. Why would I be talking about you? It, it, it is what it is, man. It is what it is, man. But hey, man, shout out to everybody that's always tuning in. With yes. Me, so y'all can stay the fuck out my DM now and stop asking me when the next episode and now. Why do you want to get them out the DM? That's what they supposed to do. They they're interested. That's what they need to, to find the, out the information. The meat picks. So you just gonna talk to the the, the, the people like that? I just, love y'all. I do. I, I really apologize. Do I, I, no, no. Y'all know me. I'm not gonna do that. Apologize. I love my people. Apologize to these people. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> stubborn ass. Nigga, that's that's stubborn the well, I'm not gonna do that. Is, man. So, hey, next week, uh, we got some we got some live people coming up. We ain't gonna Like who? Uh, I was gonna ask the same shit. Shit, the same people that you no, say. It don't get no live than us, what you mean? Okay, I like that. Yeah, we can agree on Can something. we get some females in this motherfucker? Somebody said they had one coming, Every but I ain't seen Every week they get these yet. niggas in here. We got, we, cause we do. Don't nobody want to talk about music all the motherfuckers. Okay, well, Let's we'll, talk about lashes. Let's talk about nails. Don't nobody give a fuck about you niggas like that because at the end of the day, women is the one buying the CD. Women is the one that going to go see your weak okay. ass show. Wow. She talking about rap niggas. Yeah. <laughs> but you pointed at him though. Why no, you pointed at him I'm, though? Like, well, I could have pointed at you. Yeah. But I ain't got no show. Well, it didn't. It didn't bother me. But I'm just wondering no why she. But I just wonder why she pointed at you Franklin. though. She just really pointed at you. I don't have real no, emphasis on I don't have no complex on myself. Y'all so, so they messy. Look. I don't have no cover. Somebody no. said they had a female coming. I, I guess she caught a flat or something. Well, I ain't seen the bitch no, yet. No, we, we have we have a bunch of females coming. But just like you said, you don't want to invite nobody else until you get ready to um get all the episodes caught up. That's what you said. Ooh, I boom. Did, just I, did not, the, I did not just say that. Just drop the bomb on I did not say Just drop the bomb on Just drop the bomb on He Bam. said something behind your back. I just told you something. Man, fuck that you. What he said. That ain't what yeah. I said. Snitch ass nigga. That well, ain't what the fuck I said. Oh, well. He yeah, wasn't doing comedy yeah. and being a snitch. Hey, well. But you just incriminated her. Hey, yeah, but that's what it is, man. Hey, man, going in, man. man. You know what? We're going to keep going in weekly. We got like six episodes, oh, Yeah, we got like six, seven Four. episodes. But he said, you know what I mean? Hey, man, we're going to cut it out. Yeah. Let's stay yeah. He got to catch up. I don't know what the Yeah, he do. Here. He need to catch up. I don't know what's wrong with it. They're going to move down to the data, and he just don't want to lose his goddamn motherfucking mind. I don't know what's going on with him. He didn't, yeah, B King, that's all is his new name. B King, King Jr., that's all he wanna do. Post video, him making beats. Sam, you was looking real nice on that little poster with your uh, with your new Jack City glass on. Let you go. You yeah, you look like Nino Brown. Watch you you look like it. Nino Brown. You better watch You fucked it up. You better watch you it. Nino Brown had the white. I ain't say nothing. All I said was right. No, you didn't, so bitch. You was right. He did not look like no Nino Brown. He did look like Nino Brown no, with the glass. No, he didn't. No. Who no, no, he looked like? No. James Brown. But we finna get up out of here, man. We appreciate y'all, man. And there it is. <laughs> See y'all next week. <laughs>